welcome to FGSO Woodworks Sunday Shorts. Today we're going to discuss screws. Um, there are a lot of different types of screws, but even though there are many of them, there's not too many that really should be used in woodwork. I'm going to go through just a few of the basics. Um, I don't have all of the types of screws that are here, but I have an assortment of So let's begin. Now I put some screws on these boards here. Let me move this one. And these first three are wood screws. Okay. Wood screws will be in several different fashions. You can have these screws that only go two thirds of the way up the screw, and then there's nothing. What that does is that allows the screw, um, let me remove this real quick. All right, this is really basic, but it'll kind of give you an idea of what I mean. So here you have two pieces of wood that you want to join together. And if you look at this screw, you can see that with the top part of the threads that are gone, when you drive this through, it's going to look like this. Okay, and if you can see here, it doesn't have very many threads that are holding or that are in the top board as opposed to the bottom board. Because of that, when you're screwing in when you're screwing two pieces of wood together not having any threads in this area right here allows the screw to rotate freely in the top board and screw down into the second board and that allows the two pieces of wood to join tightly together they're they're wedged together almost like a clamp so that's how that works um, the other two examples that I have here uh, neither of them do have those missing area of threads um, so really how you tell the the wood screws apart from say like sheet metal screws especially with these ones here is that they will either have a bevel which you normally don't have in a sheet metal screw or if it is a flat head it usually is coarser in the threads than a sheet metal screw which this one here is actually a sheet metal screw okay if you look at the if you look at these two together you can see and I know it's a little bit hard to see and we'll see if we can get it in there focused good and you can see there's a different uh, thread on a sheet metal screw as opposed to a wood screw. You see the wood screw, it's got a little bit more space in between each thread and also it's angled more. Uh, on a sheet metal screw, you don't have uh, the steep angle of the threads like you do in wood screws. So moving on, this one here is a general purpose screw. Uh, it's meant mainly for wood products, um, say interior or exterior, whether you're building framework. Um, that's generally what it's used for is for, for like if you're putting uh, joists together or um, you know like anything anything that is general construction related when it comes to wood you would use something of this nature the next one here we have is a pocket hole screw now I did not grab an example of the pocket hole jig uh, for helping you drill those pocket hole screws 
But what this is intended to do is this is intended to go at an angle through one piece of wood that has a stop point on it and that's what this top part is is to to you know help pull it down and then again it's missing the threads in this area here so that you can draw the two pieces together tightly okay the next screw is one that is used in on uh, it's generally everybody has it in their house somewhere and that's a drywall screw a drywall screw is fine for drywall the reason that you don't use it for woodworking is because of the way it can um, uh, the way it can break. It's actually more brittle than any of these other screws that are here. Uh, it's very very hard, so it allows you to just sink it right through the drywall, sink it into the wood, and it you know it's meant to have this kind of strength to where if you're if something's pulling on it it's not likely to break however when you're dealing with shearing strength as I took what I did is I took this uh, drywall screw and I put it in a vise and I hit it from the side and it bent it and as you can see I only had to get it to a certain point and it just basically snapped away from everything else and it's actually just come apart really easily that has to do with you know the the bending and the shearing strength is that it's not designed like if you put it on a chair in an area that's going to have uh, you know your your screw is this way but the tension on your wood is this way that's shearing strength and so that's just going to break this over time or it will just loosen it up it is not a very good screw to use for woodworking and I don't use it in any of my woodworking unless I'm doing something simple like you know on this table here I needed a couple of screws so I threw the drywall screws in it but that's only to hold a piece of wood underneath it and that was fine uh, this next screw here is a um, this is a screw, a screw that is designed to go through uh, mortar or concrete, uh, cement board. That's generally what this is for, is that when you're working on, say, like a bathroom, you'll have, um, uh, it, they call it like hardy board or, you know, cement board. And it's, it's made out of mortar, out of cement. And all you do is you use this screw to attach it through it, which is why you have all these little edges, okay, and then going through into either uh, metal or through the, you know, the, the boards behind the concrete board. And then, as I said, this, this last screw here is a sheet metal screw. Now can you use any of these screws for wood well of course you can they're all designed to go to screw into something it's just not something that I I, I recommend that if you're going to uh, create something or make something that's going to last you want to use the proper screw so oh yeah by the way on Friday's video, uh, I finished up on the, uh, well, actually it would have been Thursday, but it came out Friday. The video that came out on Friday was the China cabinet. And Friday morning, uh, uh, when everybody else was getting the video for it, is when I delivered it. Um, I don't have the customer's reaction. They did not want to be filmed for it. However, I did take a, um, I did take a few moments to scan over the pieces of work that I did. And so those are right here.
So this has been Larry with MGSO Woodworks Sunday Shorts. Have a blessed day.